Richard Southern is back with us to chat about some of the day's most interesting stories. And this first one might have people making changes to their washroom habits. Richard. A little gross, Erica. Scientists from the University of Colorado, Colorado Boulder used bright green lasers and camera equipment to look at what happens when you flush the toilet. Let me show you what they found many little Ooh. particles when the toilet is flushed, <laughs> oh. it, it, and that's not that's not the stuff you want to be breathing in right no. erica no, yeah no. all sorts of nasty pathogens like e coli and so the seal get sprayed into the air the uh they said in just eight seconds the pot particle shot out of the toilet at 6.6 .6 feet per second reaching almost five feet above the toilet the bigger droplets landed on surfaces within seconds smaller ones lingered in the air for minutes or even longer so the big takeaway here erica is that we really should be closing the lid on the toilet before we flush apparently we'd be doing it wrong and cleaning it regularly but imagine in you know public washrooms there's no lid there so is no lid yeah okay. you're breathing in all this this is why I don't want to use public washrooms ever. That's a, that's a matter of last resort. You know? Yes, and in, in, in emergency only. Okay, we've talked yeah. a couple times recently about new and emerging baby names. Tonight we've got the list of the top names here in Ontario. Very local over the past year. Yeah, I didn't want to pass this up, even though, as you say, we have done a lot of baby name stuff. But uh, the government of Ontario this afternoon released the most popular names. And this is accurate because... You know, when you have a baby, you got to apply for the birth certificate and the name is recorded. So let me show you most popular uh, girl names from the past year. Olivia taking top Aww. spot again. That was the case last year. Emma, number two. Charlotte, three. Amelia, fourth. Ava, number five. Beautiful names. For boys, Noah tops the list. Are you liking these names, Erica? I do, yep. Yeah, they're nice names. Liam, number two. Oliver's third. Jack, four. Benjamin, five. The government says parents should... Uh, register their child's name within 30 days of their birth. I was born in 1984, and I looked it up. In 1984, Erica, Michael was the most popular name, followed by Christopher. you got to go down to number 29 on the mm. list to find Richard. Uh, in 1984, Jennifer was the most popular uh, girl name. Erica, 79 on the oh. list. I'm surprised it made the list at all. <laughs> I, I, like in, in grade school, my name was never, I was the only Erica. So Really? It's a yeah. lovely name. I don't know why. Yeah. You see them in Christmas displays everywhere, but apparently not everyone knows that a certain decoration is ac uh, what a certain decoration actually is for, Richard. Yeah, we didn't. We were just talking about this uh, during the break, Eric. It's news to us, news to many people. We're talking about nutcrackers. Uh, you, it's a popular Christmas decor we see all the time. Many people surprised, though, to find out that nutcrackers they're at, were actually originally designed to, like, literally crack nuts. Um, the old nutcrackers made before the first half of the 20th century were functional. There was a spot where you would insert a nut and there was a mechanism that would crack it. Usually it was like the nutcracker's mouth or what have you, right? Uh, decorative nutcrackers, though, uh, became more popular after World War II, and that's kind of what we see now. They're not really that functional. Of course, Tchaikovsky's The Nutcracker Ballet debuted in 1892, and that sort of associated uh, nutcrackers with... Christmas. So who knew? If Erica? you knew, just can you tweet me and Richard? Because Richard and I, and, and a lot of people in this newsroom, we had no idea that they were actually used for cracking nuts, even though it's called a nutcracker. I just never thought about it. I thought that was just a name that you give it. It was decoration. Me too. Uh, if you have a functional one, to post, uh, tweet us a picture of it actually cracking a nut if you yes, can. Yes, please. Like I would love to see that. Okay, thanks, Richard. We'll see you tomorrow. See you, Erica.